Hi everyone. Hello family. Today we are going to be talking about being thankful and this is all part of the the Wisdom of God uh, series. And I, I think um, being thankful is, is something that the world teaches that you only need to be thankful when you receive something good you re or when something positive has happened. Uh, that, that's, that's when we, we need to, to be thankful. But God provides a different picture. His, his word teaches us that we need to be thankful in all circumstances, as we'll hear from Scripture just now. And Scripture has this, this, these instructions that repeats time and time after time, and, and, and it shows examples of, of being thankful. And it's, it's, it's a powerful message for us today. Um, even, even, even though when we're in circumstances that are not so good, we still need to be thankful. If we look at uh, the uh, uh, examples in the Bible of, for example, David, man, King David had, had so many trials and tribulations. And um, in his prayers, he would, uh, he would uh, share with the Lord that, that there's, you know, he's, he's undergoing uh, great stress and he's going through great trials and problems and what have you and and he's he's worried about uh, his life on occasions and what have you but then but then he always uh, turns it into uh into prayers and psalms of 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 hope and joy and thankfulness where he directs it to the lord in other words he's saying well father whatever happens whatever lord god whatever happens um i'm just thankful that that you are in my life and that you are taking care of things. And I'm, I'm, I'm using sort of lay, layman's terms here. Um, if you look at Ezekiel, if you look at Daniel, if you look, if you look at um, all, all the great uh, prophets, they, they, um, they look at God and, and even though they're going through trials and tribulations, just, just as what we are doing, family in Christ, we, we go through, we go through times where uh, sometimes we, I, I guess, Maybe some of you find it very, very difficult to to be grateful about uh, or to be thankful um, with the, the things that you uh, encounter. But God is saying to us, "Look, I, I want you to 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 love me. I want you to respect me. I want you to honor me, because that's who I am. I am God." And and in all circumstances, we say, "Lord, thank you that you are in our lives." Okay, let's just share a little bit of scripture. Psalm 92 verse 1. It is good to give thanks to the Lord and to sing praises to your name, O Most High. Philippians 4 verse 6. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 18. Be thankful in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you who belong to Christ Jesus. Thanks, God. There's so much scripture that keeps on pointing all the stories. It's that of, of the, the prophets and the great the great men of, of the Bible that that always turn to the Lord and say and thank the Lord, irrespective of the circumstances, irrespective of, of the trials that they face that they face or the mountains that they have to overcome, they th they thank the Lord, and that's where we need to be. We need to be able to thank God um, in in times like this. And and let me just give you an example. We we might we might be complaining about that uh, you know about the lockdown, and then you know uh, along comes the uh, uh, load shedding. And sure, if 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 we really focusing on what's happening in the world and and we follow the the, the complete way of the world we are going to be, be we're going to become so negative and so depressed and and anxious and fearful and and what have you but when we turn to the lord and we focus on jesus that's when we say father look we're not happy about the pandemic father we, we're not we're not happy we struggle with the, the um load shedding father we we struggle with a uh, lack of water. And there's so many things that we can say that we struggle with. 
But when we start looking at the Father, and we say, Father, look, irrespective of what's going on, I thank you that I, I have life. I thank you that I have a roof over my, over my head. I thank you that I've got a plate of food on the table. I thank you that I have my partner uh, that is with me, my, my wife or my husband. I thank you for my children. I thank you for my family. I thank you that load shedding is now over and that we are able to uh, we are able to now move on and, and we can cook our supper and, and uh, we can work on the internet and what have you. But too, too long and too many times we, we still, we, we are focusing on the negative. So we might have had two, three hours of, uh, of load shedding and, and we're, we're going to dwell on that and we're going to dwell on the problems of this country and the problems of this world that just, it spirals down into 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 oblivion it, it spirals down into all kinds of things that we we struggle to come out of but irrespective of that if we if we can just say well we 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 had to go through that time of load shedding or we had to go through this time or that time but father thank you that now we've got it back again let's now live for this moment because that's what god teaches us we can't dwell so much on the past uh, too much on the past we look back at the past to gain experience and that experience is supposed to help us. It gives us the wisdom to not make the same mistake uh, twice. It, and, and that's what God expects of us. And even in the, those circumstances, we say to, Father, to the Father, thank you, Lord, for showing us um, what ha you know, what's wrong here, what's right here. And now we know what to do uh, if, if we come into that situation again. That's what God is teaching. And we thank God for that. We thank God for the experiences. And as you heard from scriptures, what Gail is sharing with us is that we, we, we need to uh, be thankful in all circumstances in 1 Thessalonians 5. For this is God's will for you who belong, listen to this, who belong to, to Christ Jesus. In other words, to Jesus Christ. That's what we need to focus on. When we're talking about focusing on Jesus, that means we give our everything. It means Thank you, Father. Not maybe, we might not be happy about this or that, but thank you because we're going to get through this in the end. And, and we do. We do. We get through this. So let's just keep that in mind. Let's be thankful. And uh, when we pray, let's remember to thank God for all that he has done for us and for keeping his hand over us. That's what we need to do um, in thankfulness. Just, let's just thank the Lord for all that he has done for us. Let us pray. Father God, we are so thankful that you love us so much. Thank you for your Son, Jesus Christ. Lord, we want to thank you for the many blessings that you bestow on us each day. And may we praise and honour your name in every circumstance. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you.